friends, it's Miss Dill. I am going to read a book that is new to me. I don't know if it's new to you, but it's a, a book about um, a study that we did in our classroom a little while ago when we were studying dinosaurs. This book is called Prehistoric Mammals. This book was written by Kathleen Zockfeld and it was illustrated by Frank Tempesta. Now these kind of look like photographs, but we know that there are no photographs of um, dinosaurs. Um, this book was written and the pictures were drawn for National Geographic Kids. We have some of these books in our classroom. I don't know if you guys remember any of them, but um, most of them are about uh, dinosaurs, animals, insects. Um, but we don't have this book in our um, classroom collection, so I'm excited to read it for you. But before I do, you know, we have to go over the parts of a book. So what part of a book is this? Oh, I heard somebody say it is the cover or the front of the book. That is correct. If I flip it over, what part do we have now? Yep, that's the back of the book. You guys are smart, and I'm pretty sure you guys are going to get, what is this? Did I hear you guys say spine? That is the book's spine. Nicely done, my friends, nicely done. Now, let's take a look inside and read about prehistoric mammals. Alrighty. Ooh. Earth's first mammals lived long, long ago. Like mammals today, they had hair or fur. Most gave birth to live babies, and they fed the babies milk. The first mammals were small. They lived among giant dinosaurs. Most mammals came out only at night and hid safely during the day. Then 66 million years ago, all the big dinosaurs died out. A few types of tiny mammals lived on, but with all the big dinosaurs gone, mammals didn't have to hide anymore. Over millions of years, mammals of many shapes and sizes filled the earth. Let's meet some prehistoric mammal superstars. Super size. Some prehistoric mammals were huge. A large size helps an animal fight off smaller enemies. Earth's first really big mammal was about the size of today's rhinos. It had long saber-like teeth, but it only ate plants. One of the biggest meat-eating mammals had a head almost three feet long. That's about as tall as you. Its jaws were strong enough to crush bones. But even larger mammals walked the earth. The hornless rhino was the biggest mammal that has ever lived on land. This plant-eating giant was bigger than four elephants put together. It was almost as large as the biggest dinosaurs. That is huge. Huge mammals lived in the ocean too. Some prehistoric whales were as big as the biggest dinosaurs. One of Earth's first whales was nearly as long as two buses. Its jaws were full of sharp teeth. Fish swam away fast when this huge hunter was nearby. Horns galore. Prehistoric mammals had some of the strangest horns in the world. Look at this. This skeleton in a museum shows two huge horns on its snout and two little horns above its eyes. Horns could help fight enemies. Special horns could also help animals attract and win mates. Gosh, look at these. These are really interesting looking, aren't they? Look at that. Some prehistoric mammals had armor to help keep them safe. One animal looked like today's armadillo, but it was the size of a small car. It had a giant dome of bony armor on its back. Turtles actually have armor with their shell. Keeps them safe and protected. Fun facts about prehistoric mammals. Ceratogallus, which is this one, the horned gopher, was the smallest horned mammal that has ever lived. It was a foot long and weighed about five to 10 pounds. It's cute, looks like a squirrel. Then this guy, the entelodon, looked like a giant warthog or pig. It was a fierce meat eater with jaws as strong as a crocodile's. 
Now, scientists have studied the bodies of woolly mammoths that have been frozen in the ice in the cold northern parts of Siberia. And then here we go, number four. Elasmotherium was a big rhino with long hair. It had one huge horn on its head. And this little guy is Tiny Momies. He was so small it could sit on the end of your nose. Look how tiny that is. Itsy bitsy. Now this guy is a giant deer called a Megalosaurus. It had the biggest, fanciest antlers of any mammal ever. They were about 12 feet across. That's really long. Pouches for babies. Many kinds of marsupials lived long ago. Marsupial lions were fierce. They had large thumb claws and sharp teeth. They hunted giant kangaroos. Giant kangaroos were much bigger than today's kangaroos. They grew taller than basketball players and twice as heavy. They were fast too. That helped them escape the marsupial lion's powerful jaws. Look, there's the pouch on the lion and here's the pouch on the kangaroo. Coats for the cold. Two million years ago, Earth entered an ice age. Winters grew long and very cold. Many mammals that lived during this time had thick fur coats. These coats helped them stay warm. The woolly mammoth that you see right here and the woolly rhinos were very furry. Look at that, Fully furry rhinos. Hunting skills. The Ice Age brought many great hunters. The saber-toothed cat used its two sword-like teeth for slicing. These fierce cats hunted horses and bison. They may have tried to hunt giant ground sloths, but that would not have been easy. The sloth was more than 20 feet tall with huge clawed hands. This tall tree, now look at this guy. He's as tall as the tree and these little teeny tiny animals are so small compared to him. Another great hunter lived during the Ice Age, humans. Humans are mammals too. Early humans hunted woolly mammoths and woolly rhinos. Humans made weapons of stone. They hunted in groups. Together they could bring down animals that fed many people. Over 30,000 years ago, humans painted pictures of large animals on cave walls. Today, most of these giant mammals are gone. As the earth changed, mammals changed with it. Today, mammals still rule the planet. What animals do you know that are like the prehistoric mammals? What did you guys think of that? That's crazy, all those big giant animals that lived so long ago. Now there were some words that I'm not sure that you're familiar with. Um, they gave us some new vocabulary words. I don't know if you can see here. This is a vocabulary word, armor, and they talked about this. It's a covering, a very hard outer covering, kind of like a turtle shell or like an armadillo shell that protects the animal that's inside of it. Um, they talked about a marsupial. Can you guys say marsupial? Let's say it together, marsupial. And a marsupial is an animal that keeps its baby in its pouch until the baby is um, old enough to be out on its own. So like a kangaroo, that um, is a um, marsupial. Now here, I don't know if you all can see, this word is prehistoric. And I think we've talked about that word before, prehistoric. Um, that means from a time long, long, long ago before people started writing down things and talking about things um, for other people to learn about. So it was such a long time ago, they, there were no people around writing things down or talking about what they saw or what they did. Now, they mentioned in their ice age, the ice age, and you can see the um, mother and the baby together. The ice age was thousands and thousands and thousands of years ago when the earth was so, so very cold and it was so cold the animals couldn't survive. This vocabulary word is mate 
And that is kind of like a partner. Um, this is a male lion and this is a female lion. She's called a lioness. So they are mates. They are together. They're partners. And then this very last one, this vocabulary word is saber-like. And when you hear someone talking about something being saber-like, like a saber-toothed tiger, they're talking about the shape and the sharpness of the tooth of the animal. A saber is a very, very sharp, curved sword. And so these teeth are very, very sharp, curved teeth. So they are saber-like. I felt like I learned some new things in our prehistoric mammals um, book. I hope you all learned something new too. When we get to go back to school, this will be in our classroom library and you can check it out for yourselves. But until then, I love you, I miss you, I hope you guys are doing really well. Let's give our thumbs up handshake. All right, keep on making those good choices. I love you guys so much. Take care, bye.